Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. A U-shaped stand here at the Bombonera, draped in blue and gold. Truly, this can be a menacing place. How are you reading this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially, he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. So off we go then. Mass. Forward it goes. He's pinged one through here. Was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. And it's Tevez. that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Chance to break. It's wrestled off the ball. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Ball. Ball keepers ball. Atletico Paranense have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Not a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. Gets good distance on it. Jonathan. And that's been levered clear. Could move up a gear here. Tevez and a charge down the left. Tevez. Determined run, but equally determined piece of defending. Can he score? He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Defending, but that'll do. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Gets his foot in there. This is gone. That's a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket.
kicks it away. Chance. And he just whacks it away. Looks to thread it through. Right through the middle. Well read, he sorted that out. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. To attack on the first 45 minutes. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. So we're just settling back into this second half. Boca Juniors clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. And the counter is on. Played out to the right. And they continue each to cancel the other out. Tevez. it out wide gorgeous control there he's gone for it it's there and finally he has breathed life into the game look there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Atletico Paranaense can make their change now with uh, a break in play. So we have our breakthrough. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Back to the keeper and try something new. Gets it upfield. Great run on the overlap here. Lobs it in gently. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. That's found its target. Dinks one in. Shoots! Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? And it's Zarate. Crunching tackle. Chance to shoot. Is it in? Boca 
Juniors are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Boca Juniors need to hold on for a few more moments. Decent looking ball. It's got through. Atletico Paranaense with a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. Massive lead! Oh, taken with style! We thought it was over! It's all square once more! However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. So all and there goes the final whistle. Well, no winner here, but an intriguing game. The result probably a fair reflection. It has finished all square. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Yeah, this looked the most likely outcome, but we've had a, a good variety in this game, despite it being anticlimactic. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.